we're going to be working on the Honey Badger, my 1963 Ford F-250 here, because I am taking it on its first long road trip this weekend. So I got to check it over, give it a once over, check over everything, you know, the normal stuff. I know it needs a few things. One, it's got a loose exhaust mount. Uh, two, I got to bleed the brakes because someone cut me off the other day and I almost killed us both because it wouldn't stop. Three, it needs seat belts. Uh, seat belts were not really a cool thing in 1963 yet, so it doesn't have them at all. And four, and the thing we're going to be working on today, it needs mirrors. Now I have the mirrors, but we got to fabricate some mounts for them. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so first things first, we got to take care of these mirrors. So I've been driving it around just as it is, but to be honest with you, merging on the highway is kind of terrifying because you got to turn around and look out the back window. Nobody wants to do that. So we're going to get some side mirrors going on this thing. So fortunately, the truck has these convenient little mounts. Now, it used to have big old truck mirrors that went up to the top of the window up here and things, but I never really liked them. So. When I redid the doors, I welded all that stuff up and got rid of it. So I've been looking recently for just a nice generic mirror and I found these at Speedway Motors. This is just a rectangular mirror. I think it's for like a 47 to 75 Chevy truck or something like that. So what I did was I just, you know, mocked it up on the side of the truck, held it, you know, sat inside, came up with kind of a rough angle that I think will work and then I made a super technical drawing that's just everything you need to know right there so now that we got that we're gonna go inside hop on the computer and do some design work Right, guys so design work is done it's time to start fabbing these things up and you probably noticed I did all this on a CAD program it's called Fusion 360 if you don't have Fusion 360 and you're into fabrication go download it it's free for hobbyists it's an awesome program just to mock up all your drawings it's fantastic you'll never know how you did anything without blueprints once you start making them I'm here to tell you now some of you may have noticed that uh, I, I got into the cam side of it I started programming tool paths at the end of that last video or the time-lapse section and that is because in my garage, I have a CNC milling machine. Now there's a lot of ways to make something like this without a CNC milling machine. Obviously you don't need it. You can do it with a bunch of manual tools, but for me, the most efficient way is to just program this thing, get it done that way. So I'm gonna get after it right now. Let's get into it.
Guys, mirror mounts are done. I just finished touching them up and painting them, getting everything installed on the truck. There they are. And honestly, I don't really like them. It's not so much the design. I think it turned out pretty much just the way I wanted it to. The problem is they're a little too close to the cab. I really thought this would be a good location, but from the driver's perspective, it's more or less right behind that divider between the windows. So that's not the most convenient thing in the world. But at least I can merge on the highway without being afraid for my life every time. So that's a positive. Maybe we'll reapproach this later. Maybe not. I might make another set of them. I don't know. I got enough other things to do on this truck. So that's about it for now, guys. But I have a ton of content coming your way or videos that are already uploaded. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next episode of Ran When Parked. I don't know where it is. Look at that mustache. That's the mustache <laughs> of a God-fearing American who loves his freedom. Damn right. Just